there's a divide in our community with access to health care, insurance. It shouldn't be. There has been a myth or fallacies that your mouth is here and your body is there. Dentistry and medicine are not connected, but it all starts with oral health. His mouth was swollen and I couldn't get the swelling down, so we just ended up going to the emergency room. It was so swollen that half of his face was affected. If you're not feeling well, if you've got a toothache, you can't learn. 34 million hours of school are missed annually due to oral disease. They actually can fall behind in their schoolwork if their teacher can't understand them and then could be placed in special education. She just started crying. And I was like, what's happening? You know, why are you crying? And we're here, to, we're gonna help you. And she said, I have caused so many places, nobody takes my insurance. So you have the insurance, but you still have no access. 40% of low-income non-Hispanic Blacks have untreated tooth decay, yet oral disease is the number one preventable disease. Black and brown children in low-income communities are less likely than white children to have access to oral health care and twice as likely to have untreated cavities. We need to prioritize oral health care for our children. That, that's a, a tremendous public policy issue, and New Jersey can be a leader in that regard.